Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I'll be so real. I don't really know why I ordered from Zara. Uh, I was kind of in like a depression pit, rotting in my bed, and my only joy was online shopping. It's not the best way to deal with things, but alas, here we are. The box is a bit big. It's a bit too big, okay? But I'm excited because I know I got some fire things. I don't usually love Zara, if I'm honest, but I'm feeling good and ready to tackle it and hope that the sizes don't personally victimize me. So if you want to see what I got February new in Zara, then please keep watching. And obviously if you like my videos, give me a cheeky thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. It's very much appreciated. As you can tell from what I'm wearing right now, I am really loving grey. I just think grey is a staple, it's a classic, it's a neutral, it looks good on everyone. Did I need another grey jumper? No, but I really liked this one. It's like this chunky, off the shoulder vibe, it's a really nice cosy material and I just loved this little detailing. They only actually had it in a small and I can already feel it's going to be too small but <laughs> whatever. And I'm going to pair it with this gorgeous like charcoal grey skort. Skorts are just great because it means your ass isn't on show and I think the pleats are very fashionable at the moment, especially with a long jumper. And I did actually get these really cute shoes to go with this outfit. I love that they come in a little dust bag, I'm sorry. <gasps> Dorothy isn't in Kansas anymore. I love the Mary Jane like ballerina trend, especially with the little heel and I think the reds. Red is everything at the moment and I think, yeah, I love the little straps. I think this is just 10 out of 10. It's looking very long. That looks longer than a size five, no, but we'll get it on. I think it'll look very nice with this outfit. <laughs> I feel like a cool girl. Like this is like a Pinterest outfit, do you know what I mean? I like the monotone, all one colour. The shape of the jumper is so flattering because it kind of just hides everything, super cosy. I really do wish I got a medium though because I feel like this is gonna bug me, like it's gonna go like this. I mean, that doesn't actually look awful, does it? Skirt has like a little belt round and I think it was pretty cheap. <laughs> the Zara like sizing thing told me to get a large and I was like delusional. I was like, I'm not a large, don't lie. Because last time I got all mediums in Zara and I was fine, but I really wish I listened because from the front, fine. From the back, you can literally see, you can see my bum cheeks. Exactly what I wanted to avoid has happened. Okay, the shoes, you need to let me know what you think. Can you see them? I feel like it's very... There's no place like home. There's no place like home. I think the idea of them is very cute. And the heel is very comfy. I can't wear heels yet because of my knee injury. So this is a good in between. With little socks and a skirt. It's like school girl, gossip girl. I'm really liking it. I just don't know if the toes are a bit long. <laughs> Look at the toe. It's like a pepper picker. Like... What is that? I feel like it's one of those things that other people are going to laugh at, but I think it's trendy. Very fashionable and very comfy. It's a great first outfit, guys. Keeping in with the red theme, I also got this long sleeve polo top. It's quite like a thin, slinky material, and it was $22.99. I got this in a small. I think I wanted it to be more fitted. I think this will be really cute with like a skirt or something, so let's get it on. I'm feeling triggered by this one because my peak top used to be a red fitted polo, and it's giving me flashbacks. I skipped pee for a year, and now I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if the red's just a little too harsh. Obviously, where I've dyed my hair black, it might just be too much going on. Also, I think it's not great on my boobs, like it's a bit, my boobs are a bit too big for it. So, yeah, I kind of like the schoolgirl vibes. I definitely would have it open like this. It's a really soft, nice material. It's kind of cute, I don't know. What do we think? Is it just a trend piece that I'm gonna wear once and not wear a lot? If you do wanna have a pop of red, it's something you can easily add to your wardrobe, but I don't really know how other ways I would style it apart from like this with a skirt. Do you know what I mean? I don't know who would have it done up like that, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> this lovely little top is a very similar style to this, but it's like a gorgeous white satin and you do it up with bows. I just thought it was perfect for spring or like a going out top, but you could also style it down. This I did manage to get in a medium, so hopefully it fits better. Okay, this one I prefer. Definitely looking like school girl, but I'm thinking more like gossip girl, blah, Waldorf. The quality is so beautiful, like it feels 
so nice i love that the sleeves are long and go to your fingertips it fits really well i definitely think i need to make sure i stick to the zara mediums i don't know what i was thinking getting smalls the bows feel really secure like you're not gonna have a nip slip nice little collar you can wear it so many different ways obviously with a pleat skirt like this or a denim skirt denim shorts denim jeans it's just a bit more versatile especially because of the white color but i think the satin just dresses it up a little more this one's got to be my favorite so far i really really like this next up i got more red i was really a red themed this zara shop i love the shape of this again i feel like everything i got is kind of fitting this preppy theme really thick lovely red cardigan like bright bright red but look at that shape it's like an 80s tailored vibe like super super classy this was 35 again they didn't have a medium so you know how this goes i got a fucking small yeah i don't know why i did it but let's get it on <gasps> I love this one, I love it. I, I really, you know what, I just got this on a whim. It's not really my style, but look at that. I don't own anything like that, that is so cute. I love the shape, like the arms and shoulders bigger and it going in at the waist. Again, it's given schoolgirl and with these shoes. I'm gonna have to get this skirt in a size bigger, aren't I? Because it actually has gone with like five of the outfits. Definitely the small was a little bit too small, but big would have been too big on my boobs. Oh. Don't you think this is cute? Oh my god, I love it. I do think they had like a nude, maybe a black, and they have a matching skirt thing. So there's probably other ways you could style it. I feel like with a big jacket over too. But yeah, I definitely am keeping this one. I'm actually never shopping when I'm depressed again because I ordered an unnecessary amount of clothes and like spent way too much money because I've wanted that hit of dopamine. And now it's here, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling regret, you know? But <laughs> as we say that, this is so cute. Again, in the on the grey school preppy theme, I got this cardigan dress. It feels really thick, good quality. It is actually the most expensive item in the whole haul though, at £45. I got a medium and I just can't wait to see if it lives up to my expectations. I'm feeling very official. Like I'm about to go into the board meeting and be like, where are the files? Do you know what I mean? Like I'm about to go on The Apprentice and laugh at Alan Sugar's shit jokes or something. Thing is, when I don't get a small, fits my boobs, fits my hips, it's not too short. However, it does not fit my waist and that really bugs me because I feel like this dress would, it would have, you know, it would have popped off. It's amazing quality though if this kind of like corporate baddie is your vibe. My issue is, <laughs> what the hell are these shoulder pads? Do you know what, on some people's bodies, they look fire, on mine I just look tense i just look stressed like it's a bit too strong for my body shape should we try like undoing a few buttons better more cash yeah more cash oh i don't know i think this one has to be a no but i really did have high hopes with black tights boots or something but like where am i gonna wear this like what do i do in my daily life that warrants a dress with shoulder pads absolutely nada then i got a bit excited because there was like a tiny bit of sun and i ordered some summery spring dresses but i just couldn't resist this gorgeous like tie-dye-esque sage green number with the frills oh my god apparently i loved it so much that i actually ordered it twice and that just goes to show how frivolous i am with money that i didn't even notice like what <sighs> definitely going back okay damn damn this is actually cute Zara doesn't usually cater for like hips and boobs but this dress definitely ticks all the boxes like it's pushing them up I'm not even wearing a bra and because the ruching it kind of makes a really flattering waistline and accommodates like big hips doesn't show my bum. I think the colour's gorgeous. Obviously, I would not wear it with a red lip, but more in the summer with like nudes, a tan. You could wear it with just like a jacket overall, like a grey blazer to dress it down. But it is more of a holiday kind of dress. But I'm like, <laughs> I should not be buying holiday clothes. That is ridiculous, but I really, really like it. Then I also found this, which is more giving like Valentine's Day date night white lace dress but it's got black underneath which makes it a little edgier long sleeves gonna keep you warm i got in a medium and it was 35.99 so it's not the cheapest but we'll see how it looks eh actually divine 
I was not even fussed about this, but I, <laughs> I actually adore it. Do you know where I could wear this? To Madison Beer's concert. I'm going to the spinning tour in like three weeks. And I want to find something girly, but also edgy. And I love the little bow. Madison Beer is all about the bows. How well does it fit my boobs? And it's sheer lace on the arms, but so fitted on the body. It was a little bit of a struggle to do up. <laughs> So I'm glad I got a medium and not a small in this. But yeah, I think this is fire, especially with this red lip. You could wear it with like black boots or something. Again, just pop a blazer over for some warmth. And this is 100% acceptable to wear out right now in England. I didn't envision me liking so many things in this haul. Usually I hate Zara. You've seen my videos before. Usually it victimizes me, but okay, I'm coming around so pretty oh, this dress is cool i love the animal print is coming back it's like a high neck ruched little mini dress again it's a good one for transitioning into spring summer but you can wear tights a jacket so i'm hoping it looks good it was 29.99 i just remember the reason why i don't really wear leopard print anymore i feel ever since i got tattoos it looks too much like some patterns just don't sit right and i feel like this is one of them like on someone else I don't know, it is kind of cool. I love the neckline. I think that's super classy. It's really high up. You know, you could do like a big ponytail or updo like that would really do a lot. Do you know what I mean? But the shape is not great for my stomach. Like it's roofed. It just doesn't do a lot for my body. It feels really good quality. Like I can't really fault it. I just think something's off and I don't love it as much as I love the other ones. But I do think for big leather jacket, like tan denia black tights, chunky boots, this could be a sleigh for a little night out in Shoreditch or something. But for me right now, I don't know, is it giving like mutton dresses lamb, even though I'm only like 28? I don't know. Okay, we are on the last dress now. I know, I'm also like, how can this keep going? How much did I <laughs> order? This is sweet, so nice for summer. It's like a baby doll neckline, like A-line sort of from the boobs. I don't know what that's called. Satin little white dress. Kind of giving a bridal. <laughs> thought it was so dainty. I love the colour. You can style white dresses in so many different ways. Like everyone needs a little white dress in their life, so let's get it on. This is the kind of dress I wish for the life of me it suited me because the shape I think is so sophisticated for the summer. Like I can just imagine the French Riviera wearing this, but on someone with like a belly, you'd think it'd be good because it would hide it, but for some reason it just accentuates all the parts I don't want to accentuate. I do enjoy this kind of neckline, but yeah, the shape is just off. It does feel really lovely quality. I did struggle to get it on. The medium's a little bit tight on me. Also, who wears a bright red sticky lip to try on like new clothes and white clothes? Like, <laughs> hello, idiot. The length is nice. It's not too long, but yeah, it just is wrinkly and not fitting. Ew, not fitting in the right places at all, but I do love the little details. That's the end of the haul. At least we can get rid of something because clearly I need to start doing process elimination because I cannot afford to keep all these clothes.